So, hello and welcome people to yet another comparison. Uh, this one is between the two ports of Tenkai Makyo Far East of Eden, the Fourth Apocalypse, or whatever else the uh, title of this game is. There are quite substantial differences between the Sega Saturn and the PSP version, which is why I decided to make this video. Eighteen ninety three, New Orleans. Eighteen ninety three, New Orleans. Which you may have noticed in the previous cutscene, uh, or uh, the opening one, uh, the Saturn version has just about half the frame, uh, half the frames of animation in the FMVs. And what I was trying to show off here is uh, the difference in loading speed between the two versions. I should mention that I am playing the Sega Saturn version on the original Sega Saturn from a disc, whereas I'm playing the PSP version from a memory card. Now this isn't necessarily a very fair comparison because obviously the memory card is gonna be faster, but... Uh, the PSP version, from what I have been told, is faster uh, regardless if you use a UMD or uh, the memory card. What's interesting about this port is that the PSP version, as you can see very clearly uh, here, uh, instead of stretching the resolution uh, of the original game, which was in roughly 320 on uh, 2 uh, 244, uh, 224 or something like that, like most Saturn games were. Um, the, uh, and then being stretched to fill out the PSP screen. Uh, they actually bother to adjust the resolution, give you more view, and actually uh, all of the pictures of the characters, as well as all of the FMVs, uh, have been either remastered or they used the original art, which is why it often appears much higher resolution, and uh, oftentimes they actually give you a lot more to see uh, what wasn't available to see before. And here I cut out a little bit in order to properly adjust. Now, uh, you may have noticed that um, uh, sometimes during the conversations uh, I, I may just click the text uh, forward faster or slower, but regardless the loading times or like the moment where the game allows you to skip to the next dialogue is uh, slower. Uh, just it takes a little while to find the next voice clip on the on the disc uh, on the PSP. Not such a problem. However, that scene before where they were discussing the picture, um, they were all actually in sync in both of the versions, and that is because that entire thing was loaded as one sound file instead of clips like it is in conversations. One other interesting thing about the uh, PSP version uh, is that um, unlike the uh, original Saturn, it actually has lower color space. It's not terribly noticeable because, uh, you know, this is a 2D game and it has uh, 
it doesn't have realistic color space. However, in places where, uh, like for example, on the character sprites, and you have uh, a darkened, uh, darkened background, so you can see the letters more clearly, uh, you can see a grainy effect, which I will show off. Uh, more uh, later on when the situation arises and it's uh, more clear. It's really interesting to see just how much more the resolution of the PSP gives you, uh, because here you can see the entire store in one screen, uh, whereas in the Sega Saturn version, you need to scroll through. The menus in the game have also been uh, slightly redesigned in the PSP version to be a bit more clear, although I can't really properly show it off uh, because, um, well, I don't really understand them. And here is one of the few examples of the PSP actually having something, so to say, bungled up or uh, inferior to the Saturn version, next to the color space, which I will discuss uh, more in detail later on. Um, a lot of the 2D, 3D effects that the Saturn version used uh, just do not work quite so well. Like you can see on the, you could see on the background there, it just didn't scroll quite so far. Um, same thing is when it comes to these uh, rays of light on the uh, on the sides. It, they are the transparency effect is actually done way better on the on the Sega Saturn than it is on the um, than it is on the PSP, which is a little bit weird. Yeah, it's a lot more subtle on the on the PSP. I mean, it's a lot more subtle on the Saturn, is what I want to say. Mm -hmm. Transition, just as with everything, is faster on the PSP compared to the Sega Saturn. And what's also nice is, uh, as you can see, uh, just as with character uh, pictures, uh, all of the um, all of the monsters have also been either redone or they used the original drawn art uh, in order to put it in this version which is nice because then they're not quite so pixelated anymore there are some slight differences when it comes to the levels of contrast and such but it's very minor and it's po it possibly like it, it, in in most of the occasions it's very very minor here I also showcase the way they did the um, uh, la uh, the lamp effect, and here is another case of um, uh, how the Sega Saturn version actually has a lot more complexity to the 2D environments and to the graphics with this uh, with this light effect here. As you can clearly see here, uh, if it wasn't obvious in other occasions, uh, whenever there is a 2D picture uh, on the screen, they usually uh, they usually cut off top and the bottom uh, in the um, in the PSP version uh, in order to fit it to uh, the widescreen aspect ratio, um, which is you now just as well. 
And here is an, an odd example where they actually changed the way the effect worked, where in the Saturn version, as you can see, it uses the uh, 15 kilohertz flash, like, you know, the game's in 60 frames and the image is shown every other frame, so it appears as though it's transparent. But yeah, all of the 2D pictures that fill out the entire screen, uh, those have been cut up, uh, but they've done a good job where you don't really miss out on anything too important. Yeah, like for example here. And here is a good example where you can very clearly, well, not very clearly, but you can spot the difference uh, as far as the uh, uh, as far as the color space goes. In that screenshot, you, uh, it it was very clear that there was a lot more graininess on the PSP side, where there was none uh, in the uh, in the Saturn version. There is some graininess, but in the Saturn version, but that's mostly just image compression and not uh, not the color space. And here are a bit more battles. Uh, actually, all of the animations uh, that the monsters have um, have exactly the same amount of frames, with the exception of this ghost, uh, which is animated in the uh, which is animated in the Saturn version, but not in the in the PSP version. It's weird because, as far as I know, every other monster that is animated in the Saturn version is also animated in the PSP version. I think it's just an oversight or maybe some little glitch. And here is some encounter from later on in the game, uh, showing an animated monster in both of the versions and also a difference in uh, the uh, song that plays during the random encounters. Because uh, they actually address the issue of uh, the PSP version being way faster uh, than the Saturn version, and they actually, uh, they actually rearranged the, the song slightly, so the more exciting part of it uh, starts way earlier, because otherwise you would just never hear it. And here is some encounter from way earlier, again, showing off that there are animated enemies in both versions. I should also mention that the Saturn version suffers from a lot of slowdown during battles, especially later on in the game, where you fight multiple animated enemies at the same time. However, it would I would have to play for at least 10 more hours before I would be able to get uh, to that point in the game. Same, same happens to... Uh, the uh, magic spells that hi uh, that hit multiple enemies, they run at absolutely terrible frame rate in the Saturn version, and the PSP version actually fixes that. I may make a an update video later on, uh, but that's it for now.